Hey everyone, my name is Tristan and welcome to my small workshop in my basement. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cool sci-fi sniper rifle, which you can disassemble in two pieces. So let's not waste any time and get right into the build. The first thing I do before building a prop like this is to draw a sketch of it with as many details as possible. All of those details are going to help me later in the build. This is the sketch I came up with. I would love the gun and barrel to be able to separate. This is going to make it easier to travel with the gun. And I'm going to achieve this function using PVC pipes. To make the rough skeleton of the gun, I'm going to use PVC. I'm using an assault rifle which I made in a previous video to figure out how long I want the gun to be. Then using a hacksaw, I cut the PVC pipe at the right length. To glue the PVC pipe and the coupler together, I'm using PVC cement. And to strengthen even more the connection, I'm using duct tape. Next, I have to make the handle or grip of the gun. For that, I'm using more PVC which I'll cut at about a 30 degree angle. To be able to glue it to the other piece of PVC, I have to round the tip. For that, I'm going to be using a Dremel tool. Next, I use more PVC cement and duct tape to glue the two pieces together. To make the skeleton of the back of the gun, I'm going to be using men cans, which I'll glue using hot glue. And I'll reinforce the joints using duct tape. For the front of the gun, I'm using two lighters and another mint box. And it's gonna get glued together the same way as the back of the gun. So now there is the rough skeleton of the gun. Now it's time to get my big roll of quarter inch foam out and use it to cover the entire skeleton of the gun. Because the foam comes in a roll it doesn't want to lay flat so I have to use a heat gun to make it flat. Now that the foam is flat I trace the skeleton of the gun onto the foam and cut the right size piece. Make sure you cut the foam using a super sharp exacto knife and a metal ruler. My plan is to wrap the entire gun with the foam. So of course I have to trim the foam to the right size. And then I glue the foam to the skeleton of the gun using hot glue. Next I trace and cut another piece out of foam to cover the tip of the back of the gun. When you do curved cuts like this, make sure your X-Acto knife is really sharp. Then I use more hot glue to glue the piece to the rest of the gun. Then I follow the same steps to cover the other side. I'm going to use a cardboard tube to cover the top of the gun, but only the part between the back of the gun and the grip. You can easily cut the cardboard using a box cutter or scissors. When the cardboard tube is trimmed to size, I cut out pieces of foam to use as spacers. I glue those foam spacers and the cardboard tube over them using hot glue. Then I covered the rest of the gun using foam and using the same techniques that I showed you earlier. To make the barrel of the gun I use a PVC pipe, a medicine container and a vacuum tube. And they're gonna fit together as shown in the video. 
I'm gonna glue all those pieces together using hot glue and super glue. But first, for the glue to adhere better to the plastic surfaces, I have to rough them up using sandpaper. And then it's time for the glue up. And now you can see how the barrel fits into the gun. To give some bulk to the barrel of the gun, I'm gonna be wrapping it using quarter inch foam. So I trace the right size on the foam so that the piece can wrap all the way around the barrel and then I just cut it out. To make it easier to glue the foam to the barrel, I'm gonna be heating it up using a heat gun and then forming it to the right shape. Now I'm gonna use hot glue to close up half of the foam to make a tube. And then I'm gonna slide it onto the barrel which has hot glue applied to it. And now the base shape of the gun is all done. I would love to have a scope on my gun, so to make it I'm gonna use all of the pieces you see on screen. First I'm using hot glue to secure the two medicine containers together, and then I'm using super glue to reinforce the connection. Next, to make the back side of the scope, I'm using a round laser cut piece of wood and a weird piece of plastic that I found. To make the front of the scope, I'm using another piece of plastic, an empty roll of scotch tape, and more wood pieces. So now there is the finished scope attached to the gun. To make the trigger of the gun, I'm using thicker foam, which I'll trim to the right size and then glue to the gun using super glue. To add details to the gun, I'm using strips of super thin foam and I'm gonna be gluing it to the gun using super glue and hot glue. I'm also gonna be using some of my laser cut pieces of wood and some other pieces of foam and miscellaneous parts that I found around my workshop. There is the gun with all of the small trims and details added. Now it's time to add the big details to the sides of the gun. I'm using drinking straws to make some kind of hydraulic tubes or electrical wires. And I'm gonna glue those to the sides of the gun. Next I'm using more of my round pieces of wood and some super small pieces of foam to make some kind of round knobs. After that I made a big switch panel using foam and hot glue. And now the entire construction of the gun is finished. Now it's time to paint the entire gun, but before that we have to seal the foam. For that I'm gonna be using wood glue mixed with water. To give the gun a uniform texture, I'm going to be using peel coat, which is about the same thing as Plasti Dip. Now it's time for the base coat, for that I'm going to be using black acrylic paint.
Now I'm gonna mask all around the parts which won't be black, this way it's gonna be much easier to paint them. And there you can see I've painted all of the details. Before weathering the gun I'm using a matte clear spray paint to protect all the work I've done. And there is the gun nearly finished. I thought the grip of the gun was kind of plain and boring, so I decided to wrap it with fake leather. To do that, you just have to cut a super long strip of leather. And then using hot glue, just glue it down while wrapping it around. And this should be what you get at the end. I want the grip of the gun to be dark brown, so I'm gonna be using acrylic paint. Now adding some water to the same paint, I can do my weathering pass on the entire gun. And I make sure to remove the excess paint using a towel. The last step is to do some dry brushing using some silver acrylic paint. Dry brushing is when you put a tiny bit of paint on your brush and then go all over the edges and details of your prop. And we are done! This is the final result and I think it turned out really good, especially compared to the last one I did, which turned out not as great. So this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. And until the next video, I'll see you later, bye.